Stoning as a form of punishment has been a barbaric tradition that dates back to ancient times. One cannot fully comprehend the cruelty inflicted upon individuals who were sentenced to such a horrific fate. The act of stoning involves gathering a crowd of people who pelt the condemned person with stones until they succumb to their injuries. The intention behind this gruesome method is not only to end a person's life, but also to subject them to extreme pain and public humiliation. To capture the essence of this cruel practice, let us envision an image that portrays the terrifying atmosphere in which stonings took place. Picture a dimly lit square, surrounded by onlookers with faces filled with a mix of morbid curiosity and sadistic pleasure. The dusty ground is stained with the blood of countless victims, an eerie reminder of the brutality of mankind. Stoning has been practiced by numerous civilizations throughout history, with varying degrees of intensity and frequency. It is documented in ancient Mesopotamia, where it was a common method of punishment for adultery, blasphemy, and other perceived sins against the gods. The Code of Hammurabi, one of the oldest known legal codes, even included specific guidelines for stoning. Jumping forward to the ancient Greeks and Romans, stoning was sometimes employed as a form of capital punishment, although it was less prevalent than other methods, as crucifixion or beheading. The practice continued into the medieval period, with various European societies resorting to stoning as a way to maintain order and punish transgressors. While stoning was not limited to any specific geographical region or time period, it has been most notably associated with certain cultures and religions. For instance, several ancient Near Eastern cultures, including ancient Israel, practiced stoning as a means of punishment. The Old Testament of the Bible contains numerous references to stoning, often citing it as the prescribed penalty for a range of offenses, including adultery, idolatry, and blasphemy. In Islamic law, stoning is a prescribed punishment for adultery, and certain countries with a majority Muslim population still implement this brutal form of justice today. The act of stoning as a method of punishment is not solely confined to ancient times or specific cultures. Shockingly, stoning continues to be practiced in some parts of the world even today. Although its prevalence has diminished, Cases of stoning are occasionally reported in countries that adopt strict interpretations of religious laws. The punishment is most often carried out against individuals accused of adultery or engaging in extramarital affairs. Such cases still elicit international outcry and calls for the abolishment of this brutal practice. Stoning as a form of punishment serves as a haunting reminder of the capacity for cruelty that exists within humanity. From ancient Mesopotamia to the present day, the act of stoning has inflicted unimaginable pain and suffering upon countless individuals. It reflects a darker side of human nature, where mob mentality and a thirst for vengeance override empathy and compassion. As we confront the historical and ongoing existence of this practice, let us remember to advocate for justice, human rights, and the rejection of cruelty in all its and these forms.